morning, morning. Where are we? Where's my video? Oh, here it is. Let me mute myself. Hi. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Has everybody got a cuppa? Hi, Carol. Good morning. Look at all these pretty colours. Going to get really messy today. <laughs> Inky, inky. Oh, hi from Ireland, Peggy. Hi, Kirsty. Peggy, we now um, offer stamping up in Ireland now, by the way, which is an awesome thing. About time. How is everybody today? Hi, Jackie. So, I'm doing a baby wipe technique today, but I also thought if I've got time, I'll throw in the um, bubble wrap effect as well. So, yeah, I hope you're all good. Oh, hi, Linda. That's brilliant. First time watching. There's lots of videos on the group. If you just go under events, you'll see what's coming up, etc. And, uh, yeah, lots of different um, project styles, three projects, stamping, lots of stuff. Always available to watch back to. Oh my, my tummy's started rumbling already. <laughs> so, how is everybody? Hope you're all well. I'm sending some happy meal out. Small happy meals. Um, however, Carol, yours will go on Monday, honey, because that's yours is a big one, so I need to wait till PD. Because <laughs> it's a big one. It's a big one. I can't believe it's Friday already, guys. Can't believe it. Oh dear. Right, let me just move that out the road. That's just my wee shopping link. However, that's not why I'm doing the lives. Come on to the lives to just try and, um, what do you call it, inspire. I get so much from this group myself as well. It's amazing. Oh yay! Love a happy meal. Love a happy meal. Right, so, oh, hang on, I need to just get my foot footrest or my legs will be dangling off the end of my chair because I'm a little short, short butt. <laughs> right, so, what you're going to need is, now, these are the colours that I'm going to use. This is last year's in colours. Pale papaya, papaya, sorry, Polish pink, fresh freesia, Evening Evergreen Soft Succulent, so um, that's the ink pads, we've got the ink refills in the same colours and we also have the Stampin' Right markers um, in the same colours as well, so it all coordinates. And the reason I've got these is just in case, oh thank you Carol, you're so kind, you're so kind. Um, this is just in case any of the image from the stamps doesn't transfer because it's a, a funky technique, so... I've got them at the ready just in case. So, ink blending. This is what I'd done for a little challenge that I'd set myself. Um, so, lots of different effects, just using the one kind of technique. Um, oh, you're too kind. Hi, Diane. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah. Um, it was funny because this one, this one opens up to reveal the heart. And then this one... Um, should have opened up to reveal the heart, uh, the acetate, but I accidentally uh, covered it up, so I had to um, just make do with what, <laughs> what I'd done. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, um, before I start, next week, where is it, where is it? Next week, on the group, I am doing a box. This one, I had to cancel that last week because my Wi-Fi was down. So next week, same time, we're doing a little box which holds tea lights or a little gift and things like that. So, Oh, thanks, Carol. Oh, I've got a plug hanging off my chair and it's hitting my glass mat there. I hope you didn't hear the racket. Right, okay, so what do we need? What do we need? So I have... 
couple of white card bases, but we'll put them together later. I've got a little um, matte layer that measures um, three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So I need to first of all cut two more of those because um, I didn't realise I was down to the last one. Normally I have a little supply of these and it's just good to grab on the go kind of thing. Right, okay, where's my white paper went? Do you know when you file things away and then you can't, can't find them? No, that's thick. I don't want to use a thick cardstock. I use that for my base, but not, not my um, card front. So, oops. Let me just cut this thing out. That's actually two sheets, yep. Pop that to the side. So, what's everybody's plans this weekend? I um right wait there now. Let me cut I'll stop talking for a second so I don't cut this wrong. So three and five eighths, which is one in between the half and the quarter. So I'm just gonna quickly cut four uh, fronts. I am not doing anything all weekend. Oh you're going shopping later, nice. Exciting shopping or boring food shopping? I've got a few things that I need to buy off of um, Amazon. I've got some things in my basket. I can't remember what. <laughs> that desperately needing it. I can't even remember what it is. But never mind, I'm sure it's something exciting. <laughs> oh dear. Seems like ages since I had an order. But I'm doing a big order for myself um, on Monday when I get paid. So I'll get some more Stampin' Up! goodies, some new sets and things. So... Right, so let's me cut those. Right, okay, so I've got a old bit of paper here. Can we see we're off to see Auntie Megas tomorrow a family? I mean, oh, that's nice. I hope it's nice for you. I hope it's nice. Welcome, Morag. Right, so I just use um, my stamp apparatus. Um, so I've got, I don't have baby wipes because I don't use baby wipes, but this is a, <laughs> any, any wipe will do. This is an allergy comfort wipe. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, that's great you made it. Hang on, I need to cough, sorry. <coughs> Got a bit of a dry throat. I think it's because they started putting the heating on for an hour in the morning. So these had actually started to dry out. So all i done was, I got my little... Um, spray bottle with water and I just uh, re re wet it as such. I don't know if that's a word. I made it nice and damp again. Right, so funky colours. So I'm going to keep the um sorry I'm off um screen. If I go off um view just shout at me. I'll keep the greens for the the little um leaves but I'm going to use peel papaya Polished pink and fresh freesia. So all we need to do is, I don't use these as often as I should, so all you're going to do is do a little drip, drip, drip on your baby wipe or your allergy wipe, whatever you have. Make sure you protect your surface though, depending on what ink you use, folks, because you don't want a um, stain in your work work surface. Oh, this looks quite cool. And now the fresh freezer. Boop 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 boop. So they're just about mingling into each other. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water just to spread it out a little bit more. We are going to get our stamp that we want to stamp. Now, I'm using them um, Celebrate for Sunflowers because they're really pretty. Um, so, I need this big one here. And I need the little leaves as well. This is a cute set. It's got a nice font on it. Um, this is a nice one. Congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. Know that you are loved. That's one of my favourites as well. Right, I need a big block. This is the only time I use this big block is when I'm using... Um, the sunflower. So all we're going to do is, you're just going to kind of 
stamp. You see how it's all moving around? Stamp, um, add your stamp into your ink, making sure you're getting as much coverage as possible. If it doesn't work as well, we're going to add some uh, more water and see if that helps. Hi, Hilary. Hi, Stephanie. Yes. So this needs more water. Okay, so this wipe's obviously not been wet enough. So let me try that again. Oh, that's a bit better. I can feel it squishing and squishing around now. All you need to do is turn your um, card back over and do it on the second side. Hi, Hilary. Hope you're well. Let's see if this works. Oh, that's better. Now, it gives a kind of washed look, which is what we're after. Okay, that one was a bit scabby, but this is fine. What I'm going to do now is I am going to add um, some of the green. Um, you know what? I might use a different wipe. Might use a different wipe because I've got another spare one here. Let me just wet this one. This one was really dried out. This was the one that was sticking out the top of the packet. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to add green. Don't need as much of this because it's a smaller stamp. Oh, brilliant. Hi, Tammy, lovely. Okay. Right, let's see how this goes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice stamp on the back. Yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good. So, all I'm going to do is stamp some leaves around. And it is quite a... Um, what do you call it? It's a discreet kind of look. I don't know if that's... Um, the right way to describe it. That's adorable. Love it. Right, okay, I'm going to move that to the side slightly. I've got some kitchen roll here to kind of clean off the stamps. Now, you can see it's kind of like a washy wash look. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my uh, Stampin' Right markers and I'm just going to basically add in more detail. So, I don't know if you can see in here there's lots of little dots, etc. Um, obviously, when you're when you're using the inks with um, a wet wipe, you're not going to get as much detail, but that's um, that's the plan anyway. So this is just adding a little bit more um, detail in without without overkill. Thank you, lovelies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty. Oh, looks good. You'll never get two cards the same, though. You'll never get two cards the same. Right, so my next one I'm going to do, so pop that to the side. For this, I need um, a glass mat because it's going to be messy. Going to be messy. Okay, so I've got the glass mat. All I'm going to do is pick up my ink. Now, I will get all inky. And watch this, we are going to drag it across, drag it across, drag it across. So look at that little candy effect. Isn't that nice? So there's one. Okay, let me do another one. And you will get all in tea. Let me clean this off. I can put that away now because I'm only doing that swipe once because um, right, I just need to make sure nothing's stuck under my mat because these little mites um, stick to everything because they're so sticky. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so there's lots of different effects you can get. What I'm going to do now is I am going to get the bubble wrap paper. Let's see. I've never done the bubble wrap before, so I do apologise if it comes off not so great. Okay, so I'm just putting that on top of oh, 
Hmm, not sure. Not sure about that. However, it's still a background. Maybe my uh, bubble wrap is too flat. <laughs> oh, that's silky. Look, you can see it coming through now. Right, what I think I'll do is I'll add some more water to my ink. Just to pick some more of that up. You could do it as much as you like or as least. There we go, that's better. So if you're getting a poor image, just add a little bit more water on there. The striped tick is cool. Yes, it was someone in America that I saw doing that. Um, and I really like the effect going up and down the way as well. So, love it. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to add some green in. Just to give it a little bit extra colour. Hi, Marianne. How are you? Oh, thank you. This is a fun bit. The difficult bit is then deciding what um, what sentiments you're going to put on, what matte and layers, because um, I didn't decide that. But I think because they're pink and there's a little bit of green, I might matte layer with a lovely green onto the, and onto the white card base. Now, it just should make it pop a little bit. Love it. Right, so I'm quite happy with that. See, that looks all right. You might think, hmm, it's a bit messy looking, but once it's on a card, trust me, it'll look good. Right, one more. I'm going to do one more swipe technique because I want to use up some more ink, actually. I wasn't going to, but I'm already all inky, so let's do this. Let's try it with some green. Whoa. Now the green's a bit, whoa, in your face. Whoop. I like that as well. A bit heavy handed here with a really inky bit, but what I'll do is I'll put a sentiment over there to cover that. If you want, you can get your um, glue, uh, not your glue gun, what do you call it? You can get your uh, heat gun out and dry them. Right, so I've got one more. I've got one more. Um, one more card front, so I'm just going to try something. It might work, it might not. So I'm just randomly adding um, some ink on there. And this is where you get really inky because you can do that. Smudge it around a little bit. I'm going to pick this up and do this. Look at my hands. Now, I will say, you maybe shouldn't use um, white cardstock for your card base if you're doing this, because if you're getting all inky, you're going to get it everywhere. Right, move that out of the way. I'm going to bring this back in, because there's still some excess ink on that. Oh, my tummy's rumbling, guys. Hi, Barbara, how are you? Dee, 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 dee. Yes, you could put water splashes on that, honey. Okay. Nice and discreet. Okay, so I'm just adding more in. And then I'll need to quickly wash my hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ta-da! That'd be nice for a little baby card or something. Right, give me a wee second. I'm just going to have to remove this ink off my desk because it doesn't make me happy if I've got ink everywhere. Just give this a clean off as well. There we go. Love it. Right, so if you do um, flick water on here, you'll get little water effects. What I might do actually with this one is I might um, matte layer it with black. Um, I need to go and wash my hands quick. Two seconds, folks. Matt, layer it with black and do some black splodges. Right, hang on. Where's my black? Right, black, black, black. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this is when it gets really messy. Right. You know what? I think I'll do black on them all. And I'll, ma I'll layer them with black. That's what I'll do. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take my stamps off. Put them back, first of all. Like so. Clean that off. I can't believe how hungry I am this morning. Absolutely starving. Right. Okay, now the reason I'm going to use the black is because I'm going to put the sentiments in black and then that's it nice. So I need my black marker, which is here. Okay, so I'm just going to add some black detail into the sunflower. Brilliant. Right, now if you're going to do splash in, um, let me see, save the wipes after you use them for mixed media, let them dry, put them in your drawer. You can do it again, yeah, brilliant. Good tip, honey. Right, I'm just going to add black on there. This is when you want to cover your desk because this is going to get messy. Right, pop that there, pop that there. All right, so be very careful. I'm going to get one of my water pens. And I'm not going to actually squeeze the water out. Don't want too much ink. Now, it's, the black shows up better on the pink, obviously, because it's lighter. Splash, splash, I was having a bath. I might need to go heavy-handed with the green. Do, do, do. Just be gentle, because it's easier to add more, but it's not easy to take away as such. And if you've got weak hands, this is going to hurt like mine is hurting. <laughs> it's like my first finger's getting a workout. <laughs> oh, my. Kirsty, I think you just like getting me more messier. I think you like me getting a, making a mess of my desk, lady. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Right, I'm just uh, concentrating. It's all over my desk. It's all over my little hands. Maybe I put too much on the block there. I'll show you a wee close-up in a minute. You can do this with white as well and it looks quite nice. Right, hang on. I'll take a little I'll take a little drink of my tea. Give my tapping finger a little rest for a minute. Catch up later, Hilary. Sorry, honey, I never saw your message. Yeah, that's better. Do, 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 do. Should I do it on this one? I think I will. But you know what? I'll keep it to the corners like so. Not over the actual flower. Right, that's going to be messy to clean. Give me a wee second, because if I don't clean that off, there's going to be a ink accident. So give me a wee second, guys. That was super easy. Right. Okay, so I need to wipe my desk now. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, okay, let's get these out the way. Just be careful you don't smudge your wood, you smudge, smudge. Okay, Um. what's this off of? The, oh, that's off my water marker, isn't it? Right, I'll put that to the side so I don't lose it. Right, I need to get a clean bit of this. Cleaner bit. 
like so. And I need another bit of tissue. So make sure you've got lots of stuff around you for cleaning if you're making a right mess. Right. Trust me, you're as well wiping as you go because you don't want to be doing stain in your desk. Show your mics on this, please put on group. Let's get messy. Yes, and we want to see photographs of your inky fingers. Now, if you don't have inks, um, like those, you could probably use paint or something like that if you're more into mixed media and things. There's lots of stuff you could use. You could even use food colour in, but I'm not sure how, how that would look. OCD out the window. You are right. <laughs> right, okay, so. Wow, I didn't think I'd get five cards today, but that's good. So, I need black. So, I need black cardstock, so I'm going to cut these up. I just need to shift all this other stuff out of the way. Okay, so my map two, what was my map three? It was three and five eighths. So I want three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths by, I'm just talking to myself here, five and five eighths, like so. Five and five eighths. If I don't keep talking to myself, I'll forget. Hi, Sally, how are you? Oh, I think I might be needing a new blade in this. Do, 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 do. Right. De, de, de. So, obviously, I use my trimmer every other day. And I changed my... And obviously, I do it as a business. So, I changed my blade on the 3rd of September. So, that's been over a month that that blade's lasted. However, if you've got this trimmer... What to do is you can give the blade a little clean and you can run something down your um, cutting guide bit here because sometimes you can get little frothy bits of paper stuck and that can kind of prolong the life of your um, blade as well. I'm not too bothered about the fussy, the fluffy bits, guys. Right, so let's um, stick this down. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Completely different looks from the last ones that I've done. Dee -dee -dee. I know there is things you can do with um, ink refills as well, um, with like alcohol solution and stuff like that. Works really well on um, like photograph paper or something with a shimmer on it. Oh, it's going to be pretty. Right. What I think I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put it in my stamp apparatus and I'm going to stamp black on it with my... You've got one of these on the way. Yay! I'm going to stamp some black on here. That's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. Okay, so... Da -da 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 -da. Oops. Always make sure your card's the right way round. Love it. Right, let's go for this stripey one on there. <laughs> now, you're probably thinking, if you're stamping on that top layer, you should have just stamped on it first. That probably would be more logical. However, with the stamp that is, um, I'll be able to magnetise it in place. Is that a word? Magnetise? Um, and then continually stamp on it till I get the depth of the ink that I want. So, it bobs your uncle. Easy peasy. Right, I need three more cards. So, I'm down to vanilla colour now. So, I need to cut some more of these. I think the one with the flower on it, I think I'll just do that white on white kind of. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or, what we can do is we can use our white wipe and we can add some colour around the edge or you can use your markers. I think what we'll do is I'm going to use my darker marker. Do you like how I make it up? Let's make it up as go. So I'm just going to add... It's like a, a good way to do a full layer. You know, if you maybe don't have enough cardstock around. I like it, I like it. I'll show you what else I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to make this one a bit fluffy around the edges. Oh, shoot. That's what not to do, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so you want to get your scissors and you just fluff up the edges like that. Don't worry, I will put the sentiment across here to hide that little boo-boo. There's always a way to rectify your mistakes, unless it's really bad, and then we just usually put it in the bucket, don't we? Ta-da! Making a mess again, I'm making a mess again. Right, so I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Kirsty's saying, love it, it's like watching myself crafting. Oh, bless you. Barbara's saying, um, who would have thought that BB wipes was for crafting? I always thought they were for BB bottoms. <laughs> I know, it's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Um, what am I looking for? Okay. Dimensionals. These are my favourite. And the thing is, by the time you layer your card up um, and add a sentiment and add little bits of um, embellishments, it can end up looking completely different from that first kind of Ooh, what is this um, outcome? So, right, I need my take a pick tool. Quick and easy way. Stab and drag the back ends off like so. Come on, do as you're told. These get everywhere, so I like doing this, and then you could just put them all in the little bucket. Okay, right, again, make sure your card's the right way, decide. What are you going to pop it on? I'm just going to pop that on here. Look at that. See, I didn't know that would turn out so pretty. Hi, Shane. How are you doing? How are you doing? Right, okay, so I need a little bit of white. Now, I've got a little box here with um, sentiment layers. These are little offcuts. Trust me, it's worthwhile cutting up your scraps. I'm going to pop something over there. I'm also going to colour around this too. Right. So I don't want to cover the whole thing. So I want a sentiment that's small. Hmm. I might even go with a different stamp set. I just want it small enough that I can hide it under there. I might add a bit of ribbon actually. Let's see what ribbon I've got. And I'll hide it as well. Do, 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 pink, pink, pink. Need some pink ribbon. Ooh, what's this one? Blush and Bride. Perfect. Right, I'm going to add a bit of this on and I'm going to add it and I'm going to tuck it under. Isn't it great? You can just make it up as you go and you find a way to um, make things work. So when I put that there, and then I'll put a sentiment, a sentiment on the top, that will look pretty, won't it? Ooh! <laughs> right, okay, so what I want to do is I want to get a glue dot. And again, I'm going to use my tape pick tool. I'm going to get a little glue dot on the back of here. Okay, and I'm just going to, can you see that all right, I'm in shot? I'm just going to lift this now, glue dots are really sticky, so make sure it stays on the ribbon. Look at the state of my hands. I blame Kirsty. Look at that. <laughs> it's your fault, Kirsty. Right, we'll pop that on there. We're just going to 
bring that over and tuck it under again. So I need another glue dot. And make sure you give it a good push down so that um, it ain't going nowhere. Make sure it stays on the ribbon. Like I say, it's really, really sticky. Right. So just a little tuck under there. Give it a wee push down. Fabulous. Right. I need a label now. I need a label. So if I cut this down, I can just pop that right on top. Like so. So let's see. What sentiment? Know that you are loved. Let's stamp that on. I'm going to stamp that on in the green just to make it pop a little bit. So I have, there's my green. I'm going to go with the lighter of the two greens, which is a soft succulent. <laughs> no, look at it. Oh. I do, I do enjoy making a mess, but I trust me, it's, um, I'm going to bring this close to me so I can stamp it straight. Um, yeah, I do struggle a little bit with mess. <laughs> oh dear. So there we go. Know that you are loved. Isn't that pretty? Now what I'm going to do while I'm here, I'm just going to dip my fingers in the ink, of course. I'm just going to dip the edges in. And again, that just gives a little bit of pop. Okay, so I'm going to use tape. I'm going to use tape to attach to the ribbon. I've got my stamp and seal tape here, which just, just comes off on the roller like that. It's good for quickness. Pop that there. And if you want, you can put a little glue dot underneath so it doesn't wibble and wobble about, which I'm going to do. Because if it annoys me, it will annoy you. Okay. Oh, Barbie doesn't have babies anymore. Oh God, it's a thought. That would be a thought going back to that. Right, let's get some embellishments for this one. I might not have time to finish all the cards, but I'll certainly want to do um, these two anyway. And that will not take long to finish. Right, so we want some embellishments. Let's see if these find sparkles. No, I want some green. Da -da -da. In fact, I have these adhesive-backed um, sequins seasonal sequins and these um iridescent ones are quite nice i think that'll look pretty yep yep yep, yep. oh my goodness am i a hi jackie am i actually answering myself i'm asking a question and i'm actually answering myself goodness right okay i'm just adding three on there there we go can you see that all right can't see in my phone proper that's adorable Adorable. Right, and then the next two, we are going to use a stamp apparatus. I will share uh, finished projects for these later on the group when I get a wee chance. Um, right, so, stamp apparatus, which I popped over to the side. Now, in here we have a Deluxe foam mat. If it's red rubber stamps you're using, which these are, you remove this. Okay, so this one you use with the photopolymer, the see-through ones. Because these have their own sponge on them, you see. So I need that. And I'm going to need the little leaves. And we're going to need, let's celebrate you. I love this set. This was in last year's catalogue as well. Right, okie doke. So, make sure your card, again, is the right way round. The stamp apparatus has two magnets on the back. Please, please keep them away from each other because they're super, super strong. Super, super strong. Right, so I want to position that there. Okay, so I'm going to get my second plate. This is going to be two stage, so I'm going to use plate one, 
lift up my gorgeous um, flower and then I'm going to attach some of the little leaves and I'll stamp that with the, the other plate. And this is good if you're doing it in different colours as well, but today it's just black. So I am going to use, because it's on Inky Inky, I'm going to use my Versafine. Because we are Inky going on to like an Inky background. So I'm just... Do -do -do, tap -de tap tap Okay, just a little pressure. Wow. Awesome. And I'm going to keep that in position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my... I'll straighten this up ever so slightly. I'm just going to mark that the cards to be in those four little lines. And I'll do the same for the next one. Right, so little leaves. I think I'll pop that one there. And we'll do two little ones here. So I'm using the second plate now. Ta da! Please tell me I haven't just leaned in my black ink. No, I haven't. Like it, like it, like it. Oh, thank you. Bum, 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 bum. And of course, this is where you would use a different colour, but I, I really do like the black. Look at that. Awesome. Right, going to take that off. Going to get the pink one. And then we'll do the... What do you call it? We will do the sentiment at the end. Okay, so pop that down. Pop that down. And again. I mean, this, this technique you're going to get... Oh, you're in Spain. So you are, Jackie. Hope you're having a good holiday. Um... With the baby wipe, you're going to get multiple, multiple uses. You just need to keep wetting it. And eventually it will feed and feed and feed. But um, if you've got the time, try and make half a dozen or so cards. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is... I'm just going to remove this plate. I don't have a stamp cleaner to hand. So I'm just popping those to the side. I'll clean them later. I am going to get this sentiment that says, let's celebrate you. Now, I need to stand up to see that this is straight. Right, great. So again, just picking it up. Dun, dun, dun. And... I mean, the, the different styles of card that you can get, it's just incredible. There we go. So there's that one. Oh! <laughs> you, you know, I did lean and think. I did lean and think. It's all over my desk. You know how I said, uh, make sure your cards are right way round. <laughs> That's easy to fix. I'll just cut that off and stick it on another card, okay? This one, however, does open the correct way. I knew I'd do that eventually on a live. I normally do those kind of things in private. Where nobody can laugh. Not today, Matthew. Not today. Right, hang on. I have ink all over my white IKEA desk. And it's freaking me out. I really should invest in one of these um, wipeable uh, desk mats. Shows that we're all just human. <laughs> Yeah, it's a down under card. <laughs> oh, what a silly sausage. So you don't need a lot of pressure. Obviously, the more pressure you're having to give, maybe your inks are getting a bit dry. A few of mine are dry, but I've just been a bit lazy. I really should um, be re-inking them all. But I keep forgetting. Right, I'm just washing that off the now so I could get that away. And then I'll show you the... Three totally different cards. Right. How will be for time? What time is it? Oh, goodness. Right, I'm going to remove the magnets. Put my deluxe mat back in. 
sometimes I have actually put sticky tape on these. You know, if you've got stamps that may be losing their stick a little bit. Um, right, anyway, I'll clean that later. So, we have this. And you could add extra detail into it. It's really pretty though. And we have this. And we have this. I think that would look really nice with little dots of white. Um, I do have a white um, pigment ink somewhere. I could use that. I have a stamp that has little dots on it. Okay, like a paint splatter effect. These would be quite nice. Stamped. This is gorgeous. Going to have to make some poppy cards soon because it's nearly November. And my brother's birthday's on Remembrance Sunday. Well, the 11th. So, there is the three cards. Um, I hope you enjoyed that with my little bloops as well. Um, it's like being on candid camera sometimes with me. <laughs> but look how gorgeous these are. Just from one technique. And then, of course, the bubble, bubble wrap background. And then the soak up excess ink um, background as well. So these are really nice. Obviously, the darker the colours you go, I was initially going to use these three, but I thought, you know what, I've not got any um, stamp uh, Christmas stamps that I fancied using with these. Um, but yeah, mix it up as you go. It's always good to have a lighter colour in there so it's not too overpowering. And yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for coming on and watching. And remember, if you if you do have a go, uh, we need photos of your projects and your inky fingers. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, folks, I'm away for a fresh cuppa um, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Take care. Bye.